Microsoft Minesweeper from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. This recording is accurate as of August 29th, 2021. Microsoft Minesweeper, formerly just Minesweeper and also known as Flowerfield, is a Minesweeper type video game created by Kurt Johnson, originally for IBM's OS2, that was ported to Microsoft Windows by Robert Donner, both Microsoft employees at the time. First officially released as part of the Microsoft Entertainment Pack 1 in 1990, it was first included in the standard install of Windows 3.1 in 1992, replacing Reversi from Windows 3.0. Microsoft Minesweeper was included without major changes in all subsequent Windows releases until Windows Vista, at which time an updated version by Oberon Media replaced it. In Windows 8 and later, the game is not included with a fresh Windows install, but Microsoft Studios has published an updated version of it, developed by Arcadium on Microsoft Store. The following is an info box which accompanies this article and gives a summary of the main information about Microsoft Minesweeper to supplement the arrangement of information in this article. Microsoft Minesweeper Info Box Image Microsoft Minesweeper for Windows 10 from Microsoft Store. Developers, Kurt Johnson, 1992, Oberon Media, 2006, Arcadium and Microsoft Casual Games, 2012. Publishers, Microsoft, 1992 to 2012, Microsoft Studios, 2012 to present. Platforms, included with the following, Entertainment Pack 1, Windows 3.1X, Windows 9X Family, Windows NT 3.1 through Windows 7, excluding Windows Server. Available for Windows 8 and later. Genre, Puzzle, Mode, Single Player. Section 1. Gameplay. The goal of Minesweeper is to uncover all the squares on a grid that do not contain mines without being blown up by clicking on a square with a mine underneath. The location of most mines is discovered through a logical process, but some require guessing, usually with a 50-50 chance of being correct. Clicking on the game board will reveal what is hidden underneath this chosen square or squares. A large number of blank squares, bordering zero mines, may be revealed in one go if they are adjacent to each other. Some squares are blank, while others contain numbers from 1 to 8 with each number being the number of mines adjacent to the uncovered square. To help the player avoid hitting a mine, the location of a suspected mine can be marked by flagging it with the right mouse button. The game is won once all blank or numbered squares have been uncovered by the player without hitting a mine. Any remaining mines not identified by flags are automatically flagged by the computer. However, in the event that a game is lost and the player had mistakenly flagged a safe square, that square will either appear with a red X or else a red X covering the mine, both denoting the square as safe. The game board comes in three set sizes with a predetermined number of mines, beginner, intermediate, and expert, although a custom option is available as well. Section 2. Evolution. In early versions of the game, a cheat code let players peek beneath the tiles. By the year 2000, the game had been given the name of Flowerfield instead of Minesweeper in some translations of Windows 2000s, like the Italian version, featuring flowers instead of mines. Flowerfield's gameplay was otherwise unchanged, as was the executable file name. Section 2.1 Minesweeper Flags In 2003, Microsoft created a variation called Minesweeper Flags in MSN Messenger, which is played against an opponent with the objective to find the mines rather than the surrounding squares. Section 2.2, Windows Vista and Windows 7. The game's color scheme changed with the release of Vista from gray to either blue or green. The icons were updated to match the arrow look. It also came with a more peaceful flower motif called Flower Garden to replace the landmines, a game style called Minesweeper. The visual change also allowed for the board to be silver and blue or green. This iteration of Minesweeper was created by Oberon Media. The controversy over the landmine theme of the game was settled by defaulting the appearance based on region, so that sensitive areas used the flower theme, but some still wanted the game removed from Windows altogether. 
The regionalization effort also included changing the game's name in some cases to match the theme. Section 2.3, Windows 8 and later. Microsoft removed Minesweeper from Windows 8 and instead published a free equivalent on Microsoft Store. The new version is developed by Arcadium and is ad supported. The initial release was supported by 30 second video ads. Later releases had monthly and annual subscription options to remove the ads. Multiple news outlets criticized the change as greedy. This version updates both motifs, themes called Modern and Garden as of Windows 10. Daily challenges and an adventure mode were also added. As of Windows 10, the non-premium version has six modes of play, Easy 9x9, Medium 16x16, Expert 30x16, Custom, Adventure, and Daily Challenges. The two themes are Modern Theme and Garden Theme. On the main menu, there are sections for Awards, Leaderboards, Statistics, and Tutorials. Some of the game options are only relevant for a touch screen, like the flag mode and swiping. Section 3. Reception. Business Insider called the game an iconic part of the Windows operating system. There are references and further reading available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.